Hello everyone, this is a brief overview of COCON, Contrastive Cooperative Learning. We'll be going over the tasks that we aim to solve, uh, our approach towards it, and finally some cool results demonstrating the benefits of our approach. So let's begin. The task we aim to solve is self-supervised learning for video representations. And recently, Contrastive Learning has emerged as a promising framework for SSL or self-supervised learning. Recent advances have shown that SSL for video representations is key for video analysis. So let's go over contrastive learning. The main idea is pretty intuitive. The motivation is that similar instances should be represented similarly, while different instances should be represented in a different manner. Uh, sounds pretty intuitive, right? But let's see how do we define similar and different. And the idea is pretty simple. We just use some simple rigid constraints. That is, samples from the same video are similar and everything else is different. Simple as that. So let's see how does it look like in action. So here we have two videos. The first video is of a person doing wall push-ups in a particular environment, while the second video is also of a person doing wall push-ups, although the lighting and everything else is slightly different. So if we sample two instances from this particular video, we'll say that they should be similar. Their representations should be similar. While from the other video, again, their representation should also be similar. However, when we compare representations between the first video and the second video, they should not be similar because they are from two separate videos. So this is how contrastive learning works in general. So the way we use it is by using contrastive predictive coding, which is like a variant of uh, contrastive learning. And the idea is that we model videos as a sequence of frames, and based on the past, we pre pre uh, predict the future. So pretty standard uh, stuff. Now, again, let's revisit our motivation. So we are saying that samples from the same video are similar and samples from different ones are different. However, is this correct? So what if two different videos are representing the same action? If we talk about action understanding, what if we want representations which capture the underlying action? What if we use contrastive learning to learn those representations? In that case, since we, the two videos represent the same action, we will still discriminate between them, even though they have the same underlying semantic content. And contrastive learning with such an assumption actually perform some low-level discrimination even between similar videos, actually similar videos. So what happens is that representations from video 1 and video 2 are different. However, what we want is that representations from video 1 and video 2 should be the same. So again, this sounds intuitive, but this is a tough problem. It's tough because we do not know the labels during training at all. This is an unlabeled setting. So let's see how we propose to solve this. So we utilize multiple views of data to gain insights into potential relationships. And then we use these insights in a cooperative manner and improve representation for all the views involved. So the intuition is that instances which may not be like, which may not be discernible in one view can be easily like identified in another. So let's look at this. Here we have two instances of people doing squats. In the middle, you have RGB modality. On the left, you have the optical flow modality. On the right, you have human pose key points. And as you can see, the RGB modality is pretty different. Uh, there's like varying illumination. Uh, the person is different. However, the flow and key points, they look somewhat similar. So if you look above the embeddings for each of these encoders, Flow and Keypoint have, have similar embeddings, while RGB does not. And this motivates RGB embeddings to go closer as well. So this is sort of a cooperative way to do things. And finally, this is our whole approach. We have the loss for contrast to predictive coding, and we also have loss in order to promote diversity and consistency of similarities, which is how we actually enforce this cooperative training. Now let's look at the some experiments and results. So the views we use are RGB, flow, segmentation mask, and key points. And as you can see for the last two, we just use an off-the-shelf decoder, 
which may or may not result in accurate results. You can see here that the results are really bad for the segmentation masks. However, we still see that we are able to learn and improve performance for all the encoders involved. We use UCF, HMDB, and Kinetics for evaluation, and we utilize downstream performance on action classification as a proxy for representation quality. So what we do is we pre-train our model and then proceed to fine tune it on a label data set. And we also perform qualitative and quantitative experiments for them. Here is a simple ablation study which studies the role of our loss module. And existing multi-view approaches can be summarized with LCPC sim. And when adding our cocon additional loss, we see that we see a consistent improvement in performance. Similarly, we see a consistent improvement in performance across all views. CPC refers to the single view training while COCON is cooperative. We see a big jump of 7% when training all four views together. And it's also interesting to note that even low complexity modalities like poses and segmentation masks, even they are able to see some benefits. Finally, this is our table and our performance compared to other existing approaches. We can see that uh, COCOM performs well with comparable approaches. And another interesting thing to notice is that UCF101 with four views is still better than Kinetics with two views. So training on unlabeled UCF101 with four views exceeds performance, or at least is comparable to performance with Kinetics with two views and massively exceeds performance of kinetics with one use. And that's pretty much it. And here are some uh, qualitative experiments, uh, which basically shows that the clusters that we learn through COCON are much more efficient. So on the left, we see single view training. On, on the right, we see much more meaningful clusters. So instances with similar cluster, uh, colors should lie in similar places. We also notice that we can perform alignment of videos purely just because of our good representations. We see periodicity in pull-ups and other interesting things. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for your time.